What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Trucker T. <laughs> What's going on, man? Uh, I'm sitting here at this darn Cargill in, in Texas, trying to get out of damn Texas because I got home time coming up. So, um, so I'm I'm just sitting here like I've been here since yesterday. That's the downside of reefer. Like, you just sometimes you get to places where you just be stuck there but that's why you're supposed to have food and some kind of entertainment on your truck so that's why i got i got my playstation i got my xbox i can watch movies i got my cell phone so and i just got done walking for um for a little bit you know just to stretch my legs and stuff so i'm not just sitting in the truck but um but yeah man today's video is actually going to be about why did I start driving trucks? And the reason I started driving trucks was I was, to me, I was at a job where I couldn't advance and it seemed like that I couldn't, I wasn't making enough money. So like I was making enough money just to get by. Like if something big ever happened, it's like I would have to use whatever I had in my savings to, to actually pay for something and to me i don't think that's a good life to live and to me it was it was just like i was at a dead end job looking at a wall all day long and i find i already had my cdl because they had got it like a while back when i was unemployed but my kids they were very young then and like my son he was like maybe two my daughter she was six my wife she was having like problems like trying to keep a whole you know keep the household running and stuff like that because uh she was laid off and then i was out there at warner I swear they got tr this train come out here freaking every 30 minutes oh this motherfucking railroad track is hopping i tell you but um but yeah, like my wife, she was going through some stuff too cause like both of us was laid off at the same time. And like, I just was look, I just looked for a job because I was, Warner had me fucking training for like three, three months. Like I was in my training truck for three months. And like, it only took me what, three, four weeks to actually get done with my training. And they just had me on this truck because they kept trying to say they ain't have trucks but then whenever we go to a terminal i've seen all kinds of fucking trucks everywhere so i don't know what the hell i think that they were saying that they was just racking in on the uh what is it the money that the government was giving them when a lot of people was unemployed so but man i've so i've i've worked for one for about three months then i went back to the warehouse and i was there for like six years so now my kids they were grown there they are older now my son he's 10 my daughter she's 14 so pretty much they're at the age where you know they can understand why i'm not home and stuff like that you know my daughter she's pretty much a teenager so she don't care you know she's in her little teenage um what is it her little teenage thing where she's on the phone or on the computer or whatever so and my son he he loves he he you know he sticks by me like you can tell he really misses me when i go home because like he's like always around me when i go home like he sticks by me he tries to uh sleep in the bed when i'm home and stuff like that so you can he you can tell that he really misses me when when i come home so then he's like super sad when he knows i'm about to go back out so but since i'm out here since i've been out here like when i was at swift i was making good money like i was i was making double what i was making in the warehouse and life got life got a lot easier because you know i was getting paid more money but then i came over here to prime when i came over here to prime my life got a hell of a lot easier like i'm at the point now where when i what I was making in the warehouse, which was eight to nine hundred dollars after taxes and insurance, every two weeks, bringing home 
now I'm to where I can bring that home in one week. Like, that's like a big change. So, and that's why I really, I really don't do paycheck videos because I don't want the negativity on my channel. Because I was actually thinking about um, erasing the play paycheck video from Swift, but it should just bring so many views. But like, when you just look at the comment section, it's like toxic. Like, you got people on that line saying, "Oh, I I can make that and it." I made that after a week after I, I got my CDL. I'm like, well, nah, they were saying, people be saying, you know, I I can make $2,000 after I got my CDL after two weeks. I'm like, I'm like, show me a paycheck. Show me a paycheck video. Show me something. Uh, uh, I tell them, you know, well, tell me the company you work for then so I can go over there. Never hear, never come. You never hear another comment from them. But, Trucking can change your life. Like if if you're at a warehouse and you're only making that much money, it can change your life. And plus, it's opening things up for me and my wife to think about to where we can expand later on. Like I'm I'm actually trying to see if she can start brokering because my my mom she's a broker. So and I was thinking about working working um uh, my wife up to be a broker. And then whenever I get to the time where I can get me another truck, then I can do it. So, um, but yeah, man, trucking can change your life. And that's why I became a truck driver. So, uh, if y'all got a story y'all want to tell, leave it down in the comment section and, um, hit the like button. If you liked the video, hit the dislike button. If you didn't. It's your boy Trucker T. Oh, and hit that subscribe button. Down there. Hit it. All right. It's your boy Trucker T. And I'm out. Peace.